The half an hour delay today due to a COVID scare in the English camp. The players have been cleared. For England, they need early wickets from the likes of Anderson, Wood, Leach and Robinson to keep the series alive. Nathan Lyons signaling his intentions a couple of times this morning. He's timed that well. It's a boundary for the man that's filling the role of night watchman. Edged, taken, Lyon departs. Robinson, not exactly over the moon about it, but he's knocked over the night watchman. Butler takes the catch. That's the length you were talking about, Vaughan. He did get it full. Edge taken! Wood with the wicket. Labuschagne out for just one. Any other bowler, Manus Labuschagne would have let this ball go. The extra pace of Wood just goes away a touch, catches the edge. Massive wicket for England. Oh! chance an outstretched hand of Joss Butler it's a real tough one that <laughs> double noise was that given no Paul Rifle says that is out Marcus Harris very quick to review there's a spike as it goes past the bat you'll be changing the decision to get out the other spot That is a huge wicket for England, and you can see the joy on the captain's face. A cracking delivery, very full. A little bit of an inside edge, I think, and yes, inside edge, out one of the stumps, the end of Steve Smith. Yeah, it's the eighth time he's got him out in Test cricket. England, they're in this match. Cut and cut well. Out to the boundary, a real loosener for Ollie Robinson. Well played, Marcus Harris, repaying the faith in the selectors. It's been a dry spell, but he picks up 50 at his home ground. Talk about his character. As Stokes has a throw on. Was gone, Kerry. Yes. Oh, through. But you, yeah, put it down as a it's chance, a chance, definitely. There's a sweeper down there, but he's not going to cut it off. I mean, oh. edge and taken by the captain at first. You can see how much it means to him. That's disappointment for Travis Head. He's just angling across Travis Head here. Feeling outside off stump. Joe Root, he's got a good pair of hands. Did not even look like dropping that. Edged and Root gets his third. What a quality bowler Jimmy Anderson is. He continues to pose questions to the batter. All the hard work undone for Harris and England. They have well and truly opened the door in this test match. Nice game on. They need to hurry. Green was in all sorts of trouble then as Kerry was looking to get off the mark. Well, that is a thing of pure beauty from Cameron Green. Class, composure, timing, all the things you want from a great on drive. First four after the break. Decided to take it upstairs, Cameron Green. And hitting the wickets up by his call. So you'll be staying with your decision. Edged and taken. Ben Stokes. An inspired change for Joe Root. And England are riding this game. A lead of 34, just two more needed. They're yeah, just building up a lead, slow but surely. And he gives himself some room and he launches back down the track. <laughs> Two bounces into the fence. Oh, oh shot a shot. Oh, Does oh. this chap do anything wrong? I thought the players would be very happy with that. Oh, oh. Jimmy Anderson flying to his right. Oh, oh he's dropped. Well, that was a sighter. <laughs> yeah. That was self-preservation. Yeah, he didn't take it. 
He might have had a black eye, I think. Yeah. Nah. Nah, he's in trouble. Oh, this is a shame. Oh, no, this is a real problem. He's going to have to go off the field. I reckon he's got steam coming out of his ears at the moment, Ben, <laughs> so he's ready to explode. Yeah, he will be now, because that's going to be a boundary. And it's going to be a boundary to finish his uh, few balls, to finish Ollie Robinson's over. You can see that he's angry, Ben Stokes. It's not easy. In the air, and Jimmy Anderson with his fourth. The Australian captain just trying to take on the pull shot. Anderson's one away from that five foot. And there he goes, his first Test match runs. Probably the biggest cheer of the day. <laughs> From the feet down here. <laughs> Standing ovation. Got him. Mark Wood with his second, a good grab. That second slip. And the Aussies lead by 82. There's the edge. It didn't take long. Mitchell Stark had to turn around eventually and he gains the approval of umpire Paul Wilson. Oh, that's close. They like it. Australia confirmation. It's two in two. Mitchell Stark's on a hat trick. Darwin Millard's decided to refer it. Impact is in line. And it's hitting the wicket's umpire's call. Now, if Cummins doesn't get you, Stark probably will. And Mitchell Stark is on a hat trick. a perfect delivery and maybe maybe only a player of the class of Joe Root could miss it lovely stroke just over pitch just searching for a little bit too much still the best part of 40 odd thousand people in the house and they're making a lot of noise Oi! through the cordon and it's a packed cordon Nicely driven from Hamid on the front foot. Punches it down the ground confidently. His first boundary. Oh, oh got it. brings the MCG to its feet. It's a good length. Steaming in hard length. Just a little feather. Just a nice catch through. Dalex Kerry, you little beauty. Scotty Bowler, look at the crowd, everyone. Why not? Boland again. Look at that cordon behind him. Oh. Bowled him! Boland's on fire at the G in England. They are crashing down. Tries to leave it. The rattle, the awful sound. Boland with two in the over. The MCG behind the Australian captain to the English captain. He punches it down the ground with defiance. Well played, Joe Root. They should come back for three and put a full stop on a stunning day's cricket here at the MCG. England finished the day at four for 31. Pat Cummins applauds his teammates in the crowd. Root's on 12, Stokes is on two. England still trailing by 51, 2-0 down in the series.